Welcome to your favorite show, The Discussion. I'm your host, Chelsea Okonji, and thank you for joining us on the GBKM network. If you haven't yet, please download our app. Just search GBKM on iOS and Android to be able to download the free app where you can catch our shows. Is it past shows, live shows, catch anything we're doing. You can also search for us on YouTube. Just search GBKM Network and follow us, like, comment, and be part of the discussion. Remember, we always want to hear from you. So, bringing us to today's topic. First of all, as usual, as we do on this show, we want to say hi to our companion, Kelly, who's going to be here with us when anything profound happens. And we're just going to get right into it. Today's topic is very interesting. We're going to be speaking with a Nigerian Canadian actress who has a very big Netflix movie out right now. And please join me in welcoming this amazingly talented woman. I'm sure you've heard of her or you have seen her on your screen somewhere. She's not only an actress, phenomenal Nigerian, but she's also a producer. Please join me in welcoming Vivian Williams. Hi. Hi. And welcome to the show. Thank you for being here with us. Welcome to the discussion. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So I'm just going to get right into it. First of all, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we thank God for that because it's good to be happy. Um, if you can speak up a little bit so that we can hear you better. So how do you feel, first of all, just being who you are and being a woman that has a show, a, a movie on Netflix out right now? I'm very happy and um, it's been a little, um, I'll say the journey is not um, from today. Like this is a working in progress and um, this is a collaboration between uh, myself and Pat Katulon and uh, Diamond Pictures. Mm -hmm. So um, I was one of the producers in the movie and mm -hmm. I acted in the movie. Okay. And so it's a lot of collaborations in this movie mm. that um, make it a success. That's amazing. So let's get mm. right into your journey as an entertainment, you know, entertainer, basically. How did you start? How did this come about? Um, <laughs> I've said this before. In one of the interviews um, on your station, mm -hmm. at the age of ten, I knew I was going to be an actress, uh, but my father wanted me to be a lawyer. Wow! So, and that didn't play out. <laughs> so I ended up traveling, mm -hmm. and um, here I am. Okay. Years after, I got married, still having the uh, passion for acting. Wow! And uh, producing, mm -hmm. and then I went back to it. Um, my basic um, career here is nursing. Mm -hmm. That's my background. So I'm still not satisfied with what I've become. So my dream, I keep dreaming. Like I usually say, your dream will not die if you yeah. keep dreaming. Exactly. So I kept dreaming. And 2016 was when I did my first movie. Wow. Unveil. Mm -hmm. uh, and 2018, we shot Clash. And 2018, uh, early 2019, I shot my second solo um, movie again um, on Broken Chord. Broken Chord. Speaking of Broken yeah. Chord, um, that I saw the premiere and it was, I felt like I should have been there. It starred Desmond <laughs> Elliott. It looked like an amazing event to hold. I didn't even know that there were these many, like, you know, talents and all that in Canada. I just wanted to say that all the reviews from Broken Court that I had have been amazing. Congratulations on that as well. Um, speaking you. of your journey, you're welcome. Which came first? Was it your love for acting or how did you know you wanted to do go into producing? My love uh, for acting come first. Okay. When I was young, mm -hmm. I've always acted in the school, in church oh. play. 
I write a little bit of uh, scripts and uh, I've been doing this all my life. Wow. So this is not something new. Mm -hmm. I only take it, um, took it further, I mean, into the big screen now. So um, it's something that I've been doing. It, in Canada here, the church that I go to, mm -hmm. um, I do a little bit of uh, script writing and oh. uh, drama for them. Okay. So it's something I've been doing on my own before um, going into the big screen now. All right. And also on that topic, do you find that it's, it's more challenging to balance acting and producing? Or is it, you know, is it better, more fulfilling now that you're doing both? That's like being in front of the camera and behind the camera at the same time. Oh, what I do is, uh, as one of the executive producer or the executive producer mm -hmm. in a movie, usually when I'm on set, I am an actress. Uh... So I succumb to whatever the director wants me to do. Mm -hmm. And I do my part and I don't come in as an EP. So, okay. and after the, uh, the whole thing is done and I'm back in my hotel, mm -hmm. then we come to the money part of it. You know? <laughs> so how much do we have left? So where are we at? You know, we have a meeting. Mm -hmm. There's always a, um, a meeting, um, uh, before the uh, whole thing is done. Right. So uh, you have time to plan mm -hmm. with your crew, the um, director, the man uh, manager and everything, um, production manager, mm -hmm. the wardrobe. So we've had all these meetings. They're all done. Mm -hmm. So when you go into production, every department is functioning. So wow. you are not worried because everything is already planned ahead. It's already planned so ahead. When I'm, yeah. So when I'm on set, I'm an actress. Hmm. And nothing more than that. I focus <laughs> on my uh, my scenes that I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Make sure I have the world ready and mm -hmm. physically and mentally and spiritually get ready for the parts that I have to interpret. Wow. That was going to lead me into my next question because I find acting very, very fascinating. Only because you have to, in my opinion, become someone else, more or less become the character. Um, what's the process like for you? I know some people say there are method actor, actors and other things. Like, what is your process? Uh, when I get a script, mm -hmm. or I'm going to get involved in a script, the first thing I do is want to know where the writer is coming from. Okay. And then... I want to interpret it in that way. And when you're on set, you, I talk to the director, what do you expect? Mm -hmm. So the director kind of lean you towards the way he wants you to interpret it. And you've already prepped yourself. Uh. So you have a script, you have time to go through it days mm -hmm. and weeks and put yourself in that position. That and you've done a lot of personal rehearsals uh. before you come on set. So whatever is needed for you to do, the director will just kind of correct you. And then once he gets what he wants, mm -hmm. you will see it from his face. You will say, does it. <laughs> and you stay, you stay in that moment and mm. interpret what he wants you to do. So you usually work with the director. Mm -hmm. Even when you have a plan on how you want to interpret it, he might change and say, no, I'd like you to do it this way. Mm -hmm. So at that time, the director is in control. And you know what you are doing already. So it just blends. Wow. That's amazing. Um, I often think like some people will have to create a story in their heads about the character and you know, plan out the whole life of the character for them to be able to act it out. But what you explained makes a lot of sense. Um, moving forward, how do you think is is it very different the entertainment industry here in Canada? Is it different from, you know, back home in Nigeria? And how is it different if it is for you? Um, it's uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. I, I don't stay in Nigeria. I stay in Canada. So when I yeah. go back home, I rely on those uh, people that have paved the way for me. Mm -hmm. There is a system back home. You have to be there and yeah. go through it. So I can't really explain the whole system. Because I'm staying in Hollywood, I'm not in, I'm not in Hollywood. I'm okay. trying to get into Hollywood. 
so all I know is still is still Nollywood. Trying oh. to blend it together by doing international movie mm -hmm. as we've done with Clash, because Clash is a movie that's going to relate to every culture: the Indian, mm -hmm. the Nigerian, mm -hmm. the Caribbean, the American. So that is why it's called Clash. Yeah. So um, oh. that's what I'm trying to go towards now. Mm -hmm. trying to do more of international movies and collaborations mm -hmm. um, because it's very good to collaborate, believe me. The work is easier and mm -hmm. everybody have um, time to do what you need to do professionally and it comes out good. So Nollywood is very interesting and I give kudos to everyone that paved the way for me. Starting from RMD, mm -hmm. uh, Motola, mm -hmm. um, Genevieve, yeah. um, Desmond Elliott, all of them, Iniedo, yeah. um, everybody, they paved the way for me. They are the ones that suffered from the beginning yes. when there was nothing, when, when was the nothing. payment was, was nothing. Mm -hmm. Their passion brought this industry to where it is today. So I always respect them. We came in when everything is already set. So I didn't need to suffer. I go in there as an executive producer mm -hmm. and everything is laid down for me and we just shoot a movie and I come back. Okay. Thank you so much for that answer. Um, you touched on Clash and why it was named or why it is named Clash, um, which I think is very befitting based on what you explained. You want to work more on an international scale um, and it's bringing a lot of cultures and, and countries together the question that I had regarding that is, do you see yourself doing more international-based movies and international-based um, um, films touching on the traditional uh, culture being infused into those international movies? Or do you want to do anything in particular with Nollywood? Um, I'm going to say this. Um Oh my God. I'm going to say this. I will never forget where I come from. Oh. So whatever I do mm -hmm. is going to bring us the Nigerian culture, the Nigerian story. Yeah. So even when I'm doing international movies, yeah. Nigerian culture and where I come from has to be introduced into the movie. That's very because good. Because the, the, the Indians, they tell their story. Yes. The Americans, they tell their story, and we are rushing to the cinema yeah. to watch their story. So who is going to tell the Nigerian story? Exactly. Who is going to tell Vivian's story? Exactly. Who is going to tell my journey? So in a way, I bring this into the script. Okay. And you always see Nigerian culture, Nigerian religion, Nigerian mm -hmm. story, Nigerian, whatever we have, yeah. I bring them into the international um, scripts or movie that I'll be involved in. And this is one of the things people love in, in, in Clash. That's what they're talking about. Exactly. The part that the culture that comes, that we brought in from Nigeria, mm -hmm. the Igbo culture, is, is a fun. It, that's the part people are talking about yeah. in Clash. So. This is awesome because it's, it's almost as if we rely on people like you to tell our stories as Nigerians, especially to those international audiences who might have had the wrong idea of what our culture or what our, our, our story is like. So we're really grateful for the good work that you're doing. Um, before we get right into talking into, about Clash entirely, what would you say is your preferred genre, if you have any, um, you know, to make? Is it, are you going to be strictly comedy or, you know, romantic movies, horror films? Um, I don't like to be limited. I have a lot of fantasy coming up. <laughs> I want to play a um, uh, different part. I want to be a wow. police woman. I want to be a business woman. I want to be, play something to do with, um, Different things. Yeah. Uh, as an as an upcoming actress, once yeah. you are limited in playing one part, uh, it kind of hinders your journey and mm -hmm. your progress in your profession. So mm -hmm. once you are kind of um, open, anyone can call you and say, "Oh, Vivian Williams, I want you to interpret this screen for me." One of the things I like about Ramsinoa. Um, and there's more other actors that does the same thing, mm -hmm. is his ability to interpret any uh, script you give to him. Yeah. It can be a lover, yeah. it can be um, 
uh, a dangerous guy. A dangerous it's one of the guy. things I like about Ram yeah. Sinoa. Every time I watch him on the movie um, in the movies, I like what I, the way he interpret them. So he's not uh, yeah. being positioned to be a lover mm -hmm. and positioned to be um, a cortic yeah. that I don't like. I want to be flexible. Yeah. I want to be able to play a young woman, a mm -hmm. um, crazy <laughs> woman, a police woman. Yes. You know, uh, everything that comes along. That's the fun. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it shows diversity. It shows range. It shows, yeah. especially like, since you brought up Ram Sinoa, he's one of the best that we have. And yeah. he has played almost every character. And every time he shocks, it shocks the audience <laughs> because yeah. in this movie, he's a lover boy. In this movie, he's a bad man. Would you say that is one of your favorite actors in the industry? Someone you look up to? Yeah, one of them. R&D, Ram mm -hmm. Sinoa, Desmond mm -hmm. Elliott. The like of uh, Jim Ike. Yeah. Jim Ike and yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, then, when in the female, we have so much. Yeah. Chika Ike, Iniedo, yes. uh, Motola, Genevieve. Yeah. We have so much. Have so They've much. done so much uh, paving the way for the upcoming uh, actress. actresses. Actresses and, and actors. Yeah, and, and actors. So, yeah. like, I, I always respect them. When I see them, I tell them, I said, thank you guys for paving the way. Yeah. I was here in Canada doing other things where you guys were building the industry in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And we've come a long way. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. And on that note, we're going to take a short 30 minutes, um, 30 second break. When we come back, we're going to be talking more about the movie Clash that is on Netflix. And she's going to tell wow. us a lot more about it. Stay tuned. This is not your regular show. It is an interactive section, powered by the masses. Hey, go back. You go to Nigeria. You wake up. You go come. I just said no. I don't go to Nigeria. Where we discuss issues that cut across politics, security, health, current affairs, governance, and so much more. With slices of humor to keep you entertained and thrilled. We are the GPK Ham Street Top Ten. Welcome back to your favorite show, The Discussion. I'm your host, Chelsea Okonji. If you're just joining us, we have a very special guest here today, Vivian Williams, actress, producer, and all-time superwoman. She also has a hit movie out on Netflix called Clash, and that's what we're talking about right now. So could you please give us a summary for those who don't know what Clash is all about or what to expect from the movie Clash? Um, without giving it... Giving Without giving out too thing. much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say Clash is about um, a very strong woman who happens to, to be here with her two kids mm -hmm. and her husband has to, to come from back home. He's been home for a while. So now he came visiting and expect everything to be the way he wants it to be. Mm -hmm. And they have kids that are going. Um, when you have children, adolescent children at home, um, the clash of what is going on in Canada mm. for parents who are bringing up kids in Canada and how they were brought up back home <laughs> and then trying to meet, uh, marry the whole thing together. Wow. So she's struggling, trying to bring everything together. And um, that is clash for you. That's... There are other things that happen. I'm trying not to go in depth because they'll be giving up so much. Wow. That's an interesting one to watch, especially if you're a viewer here in Canada, you would want to see this. Not only Canada, all our viewers, you have to see this movie. I've seen some clips on it and it looks very, very interesting. How is it working with the cast that you had and, you know, the co-workers? We noticed that Umoni Oboli is in it as well. How is it working with her as a co-worker co and also as an executive producer? Um, when working uh, on set at that time, it's all about the cast and the director and other things that are going in. I, I have watched a lot of movies, and mm -hmm. um, that was the second time of me seeing how we meant briefly doing teeth and hi, 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 mm -hmm. there. But this time, um, we I was with her almost every day on set, wow, because the, the movie was shot in um, Ajax, 
okay. and Toronto and downtown. Oh. So I, in, I live in Agas, so I was on set almost every day that we were shooting in Agas. Um, one of the things I like about Omoni Oboli, mm -hmm. she's on time, she's mm. professional, and she comes in prepared. Wow. That's amazing. Those are excellent qualities to have as a human being, let alone as an yeah. actress. So it speaks yeah. very well to her qualities. And um, you just mentioned that it was shot so mostly... I'm sorry? She's, she's also a producer. She's also a producer. So coming in, I said she's also a writer, uh, mm -hmm. director and everything. So coming in, yeah. we were waiting for her to come in with all her expertise. Mm -hmm. So meeting her was just like beautiful wow and has fun. that's amazing and i'm sure hopefully we'll get to see both of you work together again in the future um your fans would definitely love to see that just moving on you mentioned that it was shot mostly in toronto brampton ajax area um was all of the movie shot here in in ontario or did you have different locations outside of the province no it was all shot in ontario and we have I would say about 10% shot in Nigeria. Okay. 90% was done in um, downtown, okay. Ajax, mm -hmm. Toronto, and uh, that was it. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And um, how relatable is this movie to your everyday life? Uh, I'm living it. I have kids at home mm -hmm. that are Indians. I wasn't brought up with this culture. Uh -huh. I have to be very objective, mm -hmm. not to kind of overwhelm them with my story, with what I expect from them. Mm -hmm. This is a different culture. And yeah. uh, when you come into someone's country where, with clash, um, there's a lot of interracial, there was interracial marriage in clash. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of um, uh, expectation of how we were brought up what yes. we are supposed to believe in, yes. what was like a taboo, yes. and all in clash. So um, when it comes to having Canadian children, I could relate. Mm -hmm. I've been here for a while, so I'm also partly Canadian, you know? Exactly. So <laughs> I could relate. So, I so can you're, relate. you're able to <laughs> merge both Trans cultures, so, more or less, yeah, well, <laughs> and understand. That's awesome. I'm here for about 20 something. I'm here for about 20 something years now, so I'm, I'm you're, almost you're a Canadian. More or less myself. Canadian. <laughs> so at the beginning, yeah. Yeah. At the beginning, it was hard, mm -hmm. but now I can relate with my children easily. But when I go back oh. home, I switch to being a Nigerian Canadian. Uh -huh. And my friend still goes, like, Oh my God, you are still Canadian. You are still you Canadian. <laughs> I can imagine. Um, even with all the wealth of experience that you have in your personal life, I'm bringing it into this movie. Is there anything you learned from this movie um, just by being on set or producing? Did you learn anything new? Um, life is always, a, I mean, there's always things to learn in life. Yes. We keep learning to the last breath. Yeah. I forgot to uh, mention uh, Stephanie Kereke yes. um, also was in this movie, yes. and it was a pleasure working with her. She's so humble. She's so easy. She's funny. She makes wow. you laugh easily. Wow. And because um, um, I have to really um, give kudos to her okay. for traveling all the way and uh, really meeting up with the time, and she was very awesome. I mean, I've always liked Stephanie Kereke. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> meet, <laughs> so when these ladies come on set, Omonio Boli, Stephanie Kereke, my own was different. Mm -hmm. I was meeting them as their own fan, but I didn't let them know. So oh. I just respected myself. <laughs> I was so happy and I oh snapped my pictures. <laughs> but, it, you mm -hmm. know, and it was so beautiful. Wow. So, I can't believe it. it. <laughs> yeah, I would have been yeah. fun getting on the inside. It would have come out. <laughs> but no, of course, you have to be say, professional. I pictures. I'll go to Stephanie. Can we take some pictures? Yeah. So she was taking his pictures for the movie, but I was having fun. So <laughs> <laughs> I was having fun. That was my first time of meeting this lady um, in a very close um, environment like that. Yeah. So coming to the question, yes. um, the learning process, 
Uh, I think uh, we have to respect um, uh, the country culture that we come into. Yeah. But in class, when you watch the movie, then my answer is going to make sense. Mm -hmm. When you come into somebody's uh, country, bringing your culture should be secondary. Mm -hmm. You should look into what is going on and be very sensitive towards other people's culture. Mm -hmm. And um, in class, you're going to see um, both sides were supporting. Um, cultures clash yeah. so um, hard that one side has to come down for the other the culture. Other. At the end of it, we didn't blend, but we respected our culture differently mm. in a foreign con in a foreign country. And the other thing that I I I, I, I took away from clash is love and patience. Love. Yeah. When you are in love with somebody, mm -hmm. you're going to accept a lot of things that is even not in your culture, exactly. just to fulfill um, whatever you want to do, you want to marry that person. Mm -hmm. So with clutch, it's always love and patience. That's awesome. all that I can say. That's I'm trying to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just, it sounds like a well-rounded movie. Um, it's family friendly, right? So it's anyone can watch this movie. And I understand that it is already streaming on Netflix, Netflix Africa, Nigeria, back home. So those of yes. you that are watching that are not here in Canada or anywhere else, um, if you're in Nigeria or in Africa, you'll be able to stream Clash right away. Go and stream it. It's very interesting. Um, any idea on when it's going to be able to be available for everyone else outside of the continent? I was going to go into that uh clash is number one right now wow. two days in a row in a netflix africa That's... and from what <laughs> we are hearing very soon before um we know it is going to be the world wow so we are hearing good news number one for two days now and it's up there yes. so we're doing very well in uh, africa country kenya south africa ghana mm -hmm. zimbabwe everyone That's is watching amazing. class and it's just up there so we are very optimistic it's coming here very soon, okay. sooner than I was expecting. So things are going behind the scene and people are interested in People are interested in it. Than, yeah. Do you hear that, yeah. viewers? Go and don't yeah. miss out to don't carry last. Go and watch it. <laughs> <laughs> be I don't excited. know how some people watch it down here. Sorry? They watch it. I don't know how some people watch it here in Canada. Here in Canada. Yeah, they went to Netflix.com or something. Mm -hmm. Someone was telling me, I watched it. I said, okay, how did it look? He said, I yeah. did. I said, okay. <laughs> We're not trying to treat, teach people. You can stream it, you know, some other way. Um, some people try to sign into like... No, I think, no, I think it's the right way. Yeah. Uh, they, the, the person spoke to somebody mm -hmm. back home and they were able, able to... Able to uh, stream it. Yeah, no, it was the right way. The person it's the did right it. way. Quite, you know, the, yeah, I didn't understand how she did it, mm -hmm. but I I didn't have time to really go into that. Because she was calling me, she was telling me, oh, I like it, oh, it's mm -hmm. a beautiful movie. And then I had somebody else. So it's been busy for me, teens mm -hmm. trying to push Clash to different uh, distributions and so on. So. Congratulations again. You must feel so relieved. You said this was shot in 2018. That's about three years ago. Wow. Yeah. Is this how long it takes for a movie to go from inception, production, to finally release? Because what happened is that we are supposed to be in cinema last year, May 18th. Oh. We couldn't, because of the COVID. COVID. You know? Wow. So uh, post production took almost a year. And wow. then. Uh, film one gave us a date to go uh, to cinema and then we had COVID. Hmm. So now we're not going into cinema, we are going to Netflix. Yeah. So every disappointment is a blessing. It's a blessing. So, <laughs> 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 so every a disappointment blessing. is a blessing and look, it's on Netflix now and it, yeah. being on Netflix, we can watch it over and over again and pass it down. I'd like to say thank you so much. We've come to the end of this discussion. It has been amazing having you here with us, Vivian Williams. And on behalf of the viewers, we just want to say thank you for gracing us with your presence. We're definitely going to stream and watch Clash. And do you have anything else to 
add, you know, anything else for your viewers? Yeah, I want to say uh, to everyone, go watch Clash and you will thank me later. Clash is in your home. Yeah. When you finish watching Clash, you will see something in Clash happening in your home. Yeah. It's a very, um, uh, it goes to everywhere. Uh, if you are from Indian, if you are from Canada, if you are from America, mm -hmm. it's, this is a very well-rounded movie that touches different cultures. Awesome. It's not only the Nigerian culture, you have the Indian culture, you have the American culture, you have a lot of things clashing together. And that's all I can say about class because those who have watched it, it's a, we're having beautiful review. Uh, I went to the um, handle of Omonio Boli. Yeah. The reviews are so beautiful. Yeah. I went to Pascal handle. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And people are also talking about Clash. And I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. This is my first collaboration wow. um, with Pascal Tumo and Diamond Pictures. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm so happy that I'm one of the EP of the movie. And um, I hope to work with these people uh, on other pro uh, in other projects coming up. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. Thank Once you, again, everybody. that concludes our show for today. We just want to say thank you again for tuning into the discussion um, on the thank GBKM you for having Network. Me all the time. Thank You're you welcome. For having me. And to our viewers, remember you can catch this show every Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Remember to download the app. Just search GBKM on iOS or Android to be able to get our free app. Turn on your notifications so you can catch the show every every time it comes on and other shows that we have. Or you can go to our website, www.gbkm.tv, or you can search on YouTube. Just search GBKM, like, comment, share, and be part of the discussion. Remember, every topic starts with a discussion. See you next week, same time, same place.